Hey everyone, this is Mark from My Size Hedge Fund. We're back on Jintaki.net playing against Haley. Once again, playing the Armored Titan build. Our opening hand is a weird one in that we're playing against Haley, so they mightn't go too quickly. We do have our defensive upgrades, and we have a hostile that we can score quite early. And we have an Atlas as well that we can try and rush out if we draw two pieces of ice. I'm gonna try it, I think. Uh, it could be a terrible, terrible mistake, but we'll learn by doing. And Hive has arrived. So this makes me more tempted to actually go with Hive Atlas Hedge Fund. Because if they're playing Paperclip, for example, uh, they have to spend quite a bit of money to get in here. So I think it's worth a go. It might go terribly for us, but no, they seem focused on uh, money up and making sure that everything is difficult further down the road. Thankfully, they didn't pressure as well. So we got ourselves a score. Uh, we do, have, however, have to watch out for hostile. Uh, they may get a clot on us. Uh, if they do, however, they won't be able to actually get in here just yet, at the very least. So Laguna, they're going to be taking their time building up and this now means that we can score out hostile because they do not have enough money to prevent it. Um, yeah, let's do it. Now it does make Hive much, much worse. We're down to just two subroutines. So we'll have to get something else instead, but at least we're putting on some pressure, building up our money. They may be a bit more reluctant to run, or not. <laughs> um, now we have to ask if they have something like legwork, because we can interrupt. We can pull another atlas, for example, which might be okay. We can pull atlas, we can put Kamino up here, and we can put Prysec at the bottom. At least that way, they can't just go, well, it's Kamainu, I'll just run through, it's fine. And Hive will interrupt. Hmm. They can't score both host or they can't score both Atlases here. So giving up two points may not be a terrible idea. Because otherwise we could use the token, pull it to HQ, and they just run HQ for a 1 in 5, but it means we wouldn't have the token. So I think we leave them. Hopefully it's not Atlas. And of course it could be the bluff and double bluff, but it's not. It is actually a real a real thing. Um, so we're going to pull Atlas this time. So install, put Kamainu up, and IPO. Arc Lockdown. Well, that's not much good to us at the moment. Maybe for indexing. Land Server 1. Put this up top. They'll have 4 credits. Still not enough to break this. Um, so we could just res 1. As in, we could res Kamainu. Put Price Act with it. Or res the Hive. And I actually think having Kamainu is better, because Hive is not going to be here anymore. So we'll put this in server 1 instead. Now that should be us fairly safe and getting another atlas. And then we just see when is the best time to go hard and get the last agenda. And that is going to be the issue against Haley. Uh, tapworm. Ooh, double tapworm. I don't like this because it is in our best interest to now purge for sure. Like, we could triple advance and score. They get four off daily cast, bring them up to five, and then they'd have one off each tapworm. Alternatively, we leave them, and they end up on five credits. 
think it's actually better to purge here. Which seems strange, but they don't have Sacrifice Construct down and they're using two of them. We haven't seen their Restricted card yet. But it could be Levy. Levy seems likely. Uh, in which case we can Arc Lockdown as well. We do, however, need to score this this turn. And there is the second. So a little late. It's looking like Levy is the play. When you see Laguna, you're pretty sure. Um, but you never know. They might be playing something a little bit different. So now we'll get this scored and see if we can make a... Okay. Plot is fine. We are not going to be fast advancing. And we've gotten to use a SMC. Now, they're going to get another fresh look. We've seen a lot of agendas in the top 13 cards. So hopefully we get off lucky here. And again, if needs be, we can Project Atlas. The hive is now no good to us. That is one issue. Uh, again, I think we give it up. It seems strange, but at least we're guaranteeing ourselves this. Coming to HQ, that is fine. Ben is probably the worst thing that they could hit. Hit illegal arms. Now they may not know about the Oh no, it's when it's installed. Because there's that thing that if it's derezzed, you don't actually get the bad pub if uh, you trash it. So that is, that is one thing to watch out for. Now, we can force them to come through here with Kamainu. Uh, but it's not great. Or we can just money up frantically. Could draw install IPO or Arc Lockdown actually. We want to we want to do that. Can we keep them out? Hive means no. Now which is more important to hit as well? We could arc lockdown for either indexing, or in fact we could do arc lockdown money uh, preemptive, which shuffles as well. So Arc Lockdown at the moment for I think indexing. That'll leave them with one or we can take out all the tap rooms. I think it plays three indexing and two tap worm. Mm, it's a tough call. Gonna go with tapworm for the moment um, because indexing is something that we can interrupt as well now I look really silly if they put down same old thing same old thing indexing us and the question now is how do we keep them out oh okay they're going for this server so we'll res the Kamainu because we were going to anyway. SMC presumably for that uh, Shaper one. Femme. Okay, that works too. So that, uh, that throws a spanner in the works. Ooh, okay. This works well for us. Because uh, we're going to trash this anyway, but it makes sense. So now they have to pay six, and they're not actually going to be able to trash Prysac. Yeah, and definitely not going to be able to trash Prysac now. Interesting. Femme would have been fine. And now they're actually going to be in a really bad position. I think they were just going for the multitudes. So 
So we get to fire one. Sure thing. Uh, both work. Maybe not realizing that both works. Fem isn't that bad a breaker. Uh, the two to boost strength does cause some issues and makes it seem worse than it is sometimes, but uh, it's not actually that terrible. And now they're not going to have money, so we can trash presumably Laguna. Oh, oh, yeah, that makes sense too. <laughs> so now we need any other piece of ice and an agenda. So if we draw something good here, no, that doesn't end the run at all. Okay, um, let's money up. Let's put this down in a new remote, and let's put let's put Ben in to server one. It might make it a bit more tempting to come through. Maybe they have something like Stimhack. And just try and get them to burn some tricks, uh, keep them focused away from R&D, for example. Because we do need a piece of ice. And we're kind of in a position where any piece of ice will do, I think. Because financially they're in trouble. Fansite, as Spags pointed out to me in, in a game recently, is unfortunately blank because we're planning to get to seven. Uh, we do play Archer, but we're not going to play it at the moment, I think. Hmm. Draw. Draw. That's not ideal. I think we'll put this on R&D instead. Just as a some, some sort of keep away. Um, because at the moment it doesn't end the run. It's going to be a lot of work to get it to end the run. Kind of hoping we can draw an agenda, uh, use Atlas for Spiderweb, for example, or vice versa. Yeah, uh, we're going to leave this hive here as well, so that they don't scavenge the fem onto something else. Hmm. Spiderweb is still good for us, so it'll cost them two. And then three. Yeah, I think. It's worth a try, right? If they stim hack, they can definitely get through. They'll take one damage, two damage, have to sack two cards. So they'll end up on no credits. Or no cards, rather. So let's do this I think. This which is four. This into server one. And let's do it. Presuming I have another one. To zoom out a little bit. To zoom out a little bit more. Here it is. And let's stick this into server one and zoom back in again. So if they have Stimac, they're going to be able to get through. Unless they think there's a code gate here somewhere. The hive is unfortunately useless, but they don't know that. We paid an extra couple of credits, but it means they can't scavenge the fem. Hmm. <laughs> kind of forgot about basic economy, didn't I? So two, three, four, five. Okay, they're just going to leave it off. Um, so a bit of an anti-climax in the end, I was kind of hoping for some big mad run, uh, but Inti becomes quite a terrible breaker um, without dedicated processors sometimes. Uh, with it, it's absolutely amazing, and I've seen this one where you put this on Femme as well, and you're nigh on unstoppable. A um, couple of odd plays, but we did put a lot of pressure on them from the start, a lot of agendas drawn. Project Atlas was very, very useful in the indexing plays. And yeah, we were in a good spot. However, Armored Servers, again, stays hidden on us. So again, unable to show off the combo-wombo idea. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.